Okay, so we're going to be making this springtime lace overlay skirt. This is the pattern that I used. The only part of this pattern that we're actually going to use is in the blue circle. Not the ruffles, as you can see I've crossed it out because we're not going to be using that. We're also going to be cutting out our own yoke, which is represented in the green rectangle. This will act as a waistband. So let's get started because we've got a lot to go through, but I promise you this skirt is really, really easy. So when you cut your pattern out, you end up with three skirt pieces. This is the front piece, and then two back pieces. There's a line right up the middle of the back piece because that's where we're going to install a zipper. I like to add about an inch to inch and a half seam allowance on the straight line. Align right sides together and sew up the sides. Next we're going to be cutting our lace. So you want the length of the lace to be the same length as your skirt. So I just lined it up and eyeballed it, but you can definitely use a measuring tape on this. And I used one yard of lace, but folded it over so that when I cut it out, I have two rectangles, each one yard long by about 18 inches wide. Run a stitch up both sides of the lace. And then you need to cut a straight line through just one side of the lace. I hope this makes sense. It's really not that hard to understand, just hard to explain. Next, cut out the yoke. Mine ended up being about 7 inches wide by about 42 inches long. Measure your waist and that's your length and then decide how big you want your yoke to be and that'll be your width. And then add half an inch seam allowance to both sides. Next, run a wide stitch along the top part of your lace and then ruffle it up so that it equals the same length as your skirt. Pin your lace to your skirt and baste stitch the top parts together. Once that's done, we're going to attach the yoke to the skirt. Pin right sides together and sew all the way down the length of it. This is where it gets tricky, so bear with me. Fold your yoke up and then fold it back behind your skirt to encase the top stitches. Pin and sew. But you need to make sure that you sew through all the layers of fabric and that your stitches are straight and clean. If you've done it right, it should look like this. Next, go through with the seam ripper and unpick all your basting stitches. Be really, really careful not to unpick your actual lace. Next, line your fabric up with the lace, then the lace with the lace, then the fabric with the lace, and sew all the way down the, the side. It's really important that you pin and sew carefully so that you don't catch any of the wrong pieces of fabric and so that you catch all the fabric you need. Next comes the zipper. So you need to iron your seam open and then place the zipper right on top of the seam. Zippers are tricky, but there are about a million videos out there about how to put them in. So you might want to watch maybe a different video to understand it a little bit better because I'm not going to go in depth with this one. But basically you align your zipper and pin it down so that it doesn't move and then you start from the middle, go out three stitches and then up to the top and then start over from the middle, out three stitches and up to the top. This is what your zipper looks like and then this is the other side and then you need to go through with your seam ripper again and pop just the stitches that are encasing the zipper right in the middle. Fold this little part that pokes out back down and then hand sew it to the, your fabric. Then you just have to hem up the bottom. I added lace to the bottom of it just to add some length and I thought it looked way way cute like this anyways. Because of how easy to make this skirt is, I have made so many in different colors and different fabrics. And every time I wear one, I always get compliments on how cute it is. So head on over to my blog for more DIY and let me know what you think in the comments below.